So, can I ask your name? Hollis Mayo. Hollis. And you've been out here day number six now? Day number six. All right. A total of 126 days since uh, day one occupation. I see by your shirt, Veterans for Peace, you're a veteran? That's correct. Uh, what, what branch? I was in the U.S. Army Chemical Corps, 1979 and 1984. Where'd you serve? I served at the 101st Chemical Detachment at Fort Bragg, North Carolina in 1980. Um, went to school at Aberdeen Proving Grounds uh, for chemical defensive training, uh, chemical bio nuke. Um, then volunteered for Korea because I heard it was a better tour than Germany. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, found out that I was stationed uh, 10 miles, 11 miles from the demilitarized zone, just a mile north of Camp Casey at a place called uh, Second Engineer Battalion. Uh, luckily, I got assigned to headquarters company because of my elite job MOS, so I had a pretty easy tour as far as my work skills were concerned, but uh, two months after I was there, um, two black Muslims stood up at the qualification range when we went to requalify, requalify for the M16, and they shot four of my buddies uh, during my firing order uh, in cold blood and wounded a fifth. And me and three other people plus the lieutenant who was manning the safety tower we were the only four witnesses to it, actually what happened. Well, and so now you're with Veterans for Peace. Yes. Do you want to explain that just a little bit? Uh, yep. Um, uh, after I got out of the military in 84 um, and uh, went out roadieing for a bit uh, after losing my job at the nuclear plant due to PTSD, um, I, uh, I was doing odd jobs in Rockford and uh, I got hooked up with a couple of guys that wanted to start a local Veterans for Peace chapter because uh, uh, I was interested in supporting the environmental causes there. And uh, so I got hooked up with three or four guys that uh, were interested in getting three or four more guys together and starting the, the first Rockford area Veterans for Peace chapter. Uh, main protest at that time was to protest down around the public safety building against the war in El Salvador and the Iran Contra conflict. Okay, and what are you protesting here? I, I notice a few things on the sign. Well, I'm protesting the way veterans are being treated that have disabilities by the Veterans Administration Review Board. Uh, there's obviously corruption there going all the way back to the Vietnam War because they don't like to pay pensions, they'd rather give it to the billionaires. Um, and I'm also protesting uh, the same uh, uh, dysfunctionality and corruption at the Social Security Administration level because the money is again being funneled off in Congress to give to billionaires and portfolio projects instead. Um, I'm also protesting the uh, corporate greed and the fascist takeover that is being attempted by the same corporate billionaires uh, in this country and around the world that have decided that because they can sweat up, set up sweatshops and corporate towns in foreign countries under NAFTA and the free trade agreements the way they did in this country in the early 1900s, they figured they'd try it right here at home now. All right. I see you have a friend here. What's your name? My name's William Gruber. And are you fasting also? Or I striking started, also? I started last night at 12 o'clock. Okay, so you're on day one. Day one. And you're on day six. I'm on day six. So All right. Okay. And are you protesting the same things or something else? Well, I'm pro protesting the, the number of things he just told you, as well as the fact that God told me to come here. Okay. And let. William Walker, go home. William Walker. Hi. So let Scotty know, Scott Walker know, that his time is up. And he's going to get out of the way because the good babies win in the big picture. And God's good babies are hooking up. And we're listening now. And we're not listening to them anymore. And we're working together for the positive. Awesome. In the big picture, we win. Okay. All the good babies win. And yay! All right. How long are you prepared to stay out here? Well, I got some news that the VA is finally going to set me up for my third review. Uh, with a pen and comp hearing to have me examined by uh, another doctor. Um, I've warned them not to play the same games of trying to discredit me for the pure sake of bureaucracy the way they did during the first uh, uh, examination, that I won't stop my hunger strike if they try to um, shut me down again. Okay. Uh, because I have no life as a disabled vet under the conditions that uh, I am currently under, you know, uh, despite Michelle Obama and Joe Biden's efforts, the National Homeless Veterans Program to 
provide apartments and living uh, spaces for vets. Okay. Um, and I will probably also be out here until they take care of Will. Because Will has joined me in the solidarity movement and he's just as important in this world and he deserves to get his disability money. And Will, uh, how long are you? Oh, well, you got him. I've got mine. I've had him since uh, a year and a half after they told me I was fine when I came out of the coma from brain damage and I thought I was still going to die. It took another year and a half to convince him that I needed to take him for my benefits. All right. It's what, been ridiculous otherwise. What branch were you in? No, no, I got my benefits. From oh, different, different yeah, benefits. Okay. I, I rolled it. Yeah, they do. Veterans yeah. rule. And we're working together now. All the good babies, including the vets. What's a better baby than a vet? We're right. all good babies. They're going better than the others. I'm just kidding. The fact is, the vets are not the dog. Look what they've given to the country. Look what they've given to the rest of the people. They've just been sitting there wondering if they can bother to wonder. Right. The bottom line is that uh, one of the things I'm asking for as part of this hunger strike is I voted for Barack Obama. I believe in him. I believe he's been given a hard time by the GOP and the Tea Party, you know, and the elitists in Washington that want to keep business the way it's been through the last two Bush administrations. You know, these are the same people that made havoc for Clinton. Okay, that kind of tactic isn't going to fly with me uh, in this administration now because I think Obama deserves the support of the veterans, but at the same time, us veterans deserve his support. I voted for him. I believe in him. You know, I love his wife for getting me a, a place to live at a time when I really needed it. But I really need him to ask Congress uh, to start an investigation of how the VA is handling these disability claims. You know, what basis they're using for the rhetorical denials that they're giving. You know, despite extensive medical documentation that th these vets have been providing, even soldiers from Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, and to put an end to it. To tell them, look, the money's not going to be funneled off as unused anymore so billionaires can profit while their veterans end up uh, suffering and dying. Okay, they're going to get a decent life. Right. Veterans in other parts of the world are better, are better taken care of than social workers in some cases in those countries. Okay, but yet in this country, the social workers, okay, are living better than the veterans and better than the disabled people that they swore to serve to death. Alright. Oh. Yeah, gonna get a little little more personal now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I got up the last couple of mornings with leg cramps because I wasn't getting enough salt. Uh, but I've been told that what I was taught in the military about salt is actually wrong. That what I actually need is more uh, calcium in my diet. Uh, so if anybody wants to send me calcium tablets, hey, I'm up for it. You okay. know, if anyone wants to send me a pair of 13-inch sandals uh, for, for me and Will, you know, we could use that. What size do you wear? 13. Yeah, so we're both wearing 13. Right now, okay. So it's stretched out on the gas pump. Um, you know, um, we're getting our water and our, and our tea from the medics that were here for Walkerville that support the Solidarity Movement. We've got Solidarity uh, Movement supporters that are coming every day and making sure we have what we need. Uh, what we need is we need political action. Okay. We need direct action here at the state capitol in their city and, or their county in Wisconsin to protest the way uh, the politicians are mistreating us and the way veterans are being treated, disabled. And we need to do it in Washington as well. We need to do it in every state. I encourage veterans across the country to take the same action and join us in solidarity. I think if, I think if 10,000 vets went on a hunger strike, yeah. the government would freak. That's All right. I think that's it. I want to thank you for taking the time. Anything else to add, either one of you? God is here now. It's good babies win. And we're all getting together, and the bad babies are going to get the heck out of the way. Patrick Henry is the one that said, give me liberty or give me death. Because I'm a spiritualist, I studied Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism. I'm not afraid of what might happen to me if, if this goes too long. Compared to what I have, where I don't have the same freedoms that other Americans have, this is not a risk for me. This is standing up for every worker's rights, every veteran's rights, every disabled person's rights, because the 21st century was supposed to be different. And by God, I'm going to do my part to make sure it does. Yeah, God.